up guys welcome back once again it is me Molt. so happy to be here with you guys after a couple days taking a break I haven't been feeling too good um, so yeah that's why I haven't made a video in a little bit but I'm doing a Town Hall 8 base build for you guys today so I hope that y'all are ready for it we're gonna um, come in here with a uh, with a trophy base I'm uh, I'm wanting to get a little higher up in the trophy count so that I can find some better loot so uh, that's why I'm doing this, but yeah, here we go. Why don't we go ahead and jump into this? Um, I'm gonna be looking over here on the side to where I already have it built, um, so that's why I'm looking off to the side. But obviously, we're gonna start off with the town hall in the middle as well as the clan castle because uh, both of those are very, very important. Obviously, the town hall is gonna be in the middle for a trophy base, but clan castle is super important, especially if you're in an active clan. Um, next, we're gonna bring in our wizards, which we want to triangulate around the base as always. So we're gonna put one right here. Um, and then we're going to bring in the other two uh, right here. So you can see they're triangulated. They cover a pretty good amount of the base. You can't tell on this bottom one because it's under construction. But um, they reach a pretty good amount of the base. So I'm happy with the location of those. Um, next, we're going to bring in our mortars, which is our other, uh, our other splash damage. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right here. And then we are going to put one right here. So um, they are spread out a little bit differently, but they still make a triangle around the base covering uh, the entire thing. And the reason that I did that is so that I can also triangulate my um, air defenses around the base as well. So you can see they look a little bit awkward, but they are still in a triangle formation. Um, next, we're going to just bring in some other random buildings. Let's go ahead and... Um, Let's just continue working our way around. Uh, we're actually going to put this right here, and we're going to bring our Dark Elixir storage right here. Um, over on this right side, we are going to space these out evenly and bring in these can the cannon and the uh, archer tower right here. And you can see this has a little trap area for troops to walk up in um, and get owned. <laughs> and then we have the same thing over here on this side with the archers and the cannon. There we go. Now we're just going to continue working our way around the base. Uh, we're going to put that elixir storage right there. We're going to bring in an archer tower right here. And then we're just going to bring in another storage. Um, we're going to put our barbarian king out towards the top on this one. Um, I didn't have any room for him in the middle. I could put him where the dark elixir storage is, but I really want to protect my dark elixir storage. So if you guys want to trade that out, you can. Um, but we're just going to continue working our way around. So again, like I just said, if you want, you can always bring your Barbarian King right in here to where the Dark Elixir is <clears throat> if you don't have that much. So, uh, And then we're going to bring in this Elixir Storage over here as well as an Archer Tower and then another Elixir Storage. And then we are going to fill in our last little area down here with uh, Cannon, Archer, Cannon. And then we're just going to put two Mines. Um, <clears throat> or mine and a pump in there and then that is going to be it so we're gonna go ahead and save that we're only like three minutes in but that's okay um, so take a look at it I think that it's gonna work pretty well I'm excited for it uh, I haven't built a trophy base for Town Hall 8 in a little bit so yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes and um, but you know you know we're gonna upgrade something in this video too okay so this is kind of gonna be like a let's clash as well <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this archer tower right here up to level 9. Perfect. I think once they're level 9, no, so you can go up to level 10 at Town Hall 8. Um, <clears throat> so we just upgraded that, and I don't think that I have any uh, anything elixir-wise that I can upgrade. Um, where's my... So I'm upgrading my giants right now as well, um, and I have this wizard tower upgrading. So... We're looking pretty good. I'm definitely excited to see where this goes. Uh, why don't we... Um, we have an army camp full of archers. Why don't we just go see what we can find and own somebody. So I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds once my... Uh, once my... I'm delirious. Once I find a base worthy of attacking, all right? <laughs> I'm going to attack this base because it looks like most of the resources are in the mines and pumps. Uh, let's just go ahead and take out the king right here and then drop off a couple troops up there on the town hall. Um, and then we're just going to spread out some archers. <coughs> Goodness. On the mines and pumps. <coughs> Man. And see how much of it we can get. We should be able to get a really good amount, <coughs> considering it looks like all the storages in the middle are completely empty. I'm just going around dropping about five on each. And we should be able to clear 
all of them out. How is the king still alive? <laughs> I thought I dropped down enough to take him out, but I guess not. Um, got to get the rest of this gold right here, and then let's get in here and get... Oh, he's got clan castle troops. <laughs> Hopefully some of them will get distracted and we'll be able to take out most of this gold. Nope, they are going to completely annihilate. <clears throat> I don't want to use any lightning spells, uh, so I'm just going to wait for them to leave. <laughs> now that they've left, I'm going to come in here and take the rest of this gold. <laughs> While their back's the turn, we steal their gold. So we've got 43% right now. Um, I don't know, we might be able to get 50, except for the fact that his wizards are running around doing work. But let's see if we can before they get over here. We might be able to get 50%. Come on. There we go. So we still got 50%, which is good because I'm, I'm trying to get up in the trophy range so I can find some better loot. Um, and I think we're just going to leave it there because we're not going to be able to get in any further. So 50% is not bad, especially when there's 32 trophies up for grabs. So, hey, that's a pretty good raid. I'm definitely happy with that for archers and 21 trophies, which is awesome. So I'm trying to get up to like 1,600, 1,700 trophy range. So hopefully now that my uh, now that my clan, my town hall is in the middle, we'll be able to get up pretty quickly. But yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. I hope that y'all like this base. Go ahead and try it out. Uh, I'll be sure to show some replays of it if it does well. If it doesn't do well, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all's support, guys. We're gonna be at 100,000 very, very soon. I'm going to summer camp next week, so I won't be posting um, too much. I'm gonna try and record. Maybe two before and, and post them, but otherwise it would just be vlogs, so you guys can hang out and watch those. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. You guys rock, and hey, as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, alright? I'll see you guys later.